Hi everyone, it's Vesper back to talk about testosterone dosages very, very briefly because I've noticed that there's a lot of confusion about what CC is, milligrams, milliliters, how to convert, blah, 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 and how the dosage corresponds to changes with testosterone. And I want to put out full disclaimer, I am not a doctor, I am not an expert, I am just a person, I wanna help people. So take what you will from this video, but the number one thing that I do not want you to take away from this video is that you you should copy someone else's dosage. Like if someone, your favorite YouTuber, whoever, is doing such and such dosage that you should do the same dosage because you like what they got going on and you want that for yourself. That's not how dosage is. That's not how testosterone works. So number one, please keep that in mind. All the example dosages that I'm about to use in this video or that I use on my channel in general for myself are not necessarily the same dosage that you or anyone else should be taking. So when working with T dosages, there are two measurements that you're most likely to come in contact with. CC or ML, milliliters, this is a measure of quantity, how much liquid you're putting into a syringe or is in a vial. And then there is milligrams. That is the concentrate of the testosterone that is in that quantity of liquid. On the syringe, you will see CC or ML, milliliters. And that number does not say anything about the actual dosage that you're getting of testosterone. Usually on your box or your vial of testosterone, you will see a number that is in milligrams slash ml. So for example, my testosterone it comes in pretty standard options. It comes in 125 milligrams slash 1 ml or 250 milligrams slash 1 ml. What that means is that for 1 cc or 1 milliliter of liquid, there is either 125 milligrams of testosterone in it or there is 250 milligrams of testosterone in it. If I want half of what's in the vial and the vial is one cc or one milliliter, then half of that would be 0.5, right? To figure out your actual dosage, how much tea you're actually getting from that injection, use the formula quantity times concentrate equals dosage. So if I want half of the quantity that is in the vial, 0.5 cc or 0.5 milliliters, the concentrate is the number that's on your box or on your vial, in this case, 125 milligrams. So take 0.5 times 125, that will equal your dosage, 62.5 milligrams. That is how much testosterone you are injecting yourself with. If you wanted a quarter of what's in the vial, then you would use 0 0.25 times 125, and then you'd get your dosage. You can also work backwards, of course. So if you know that you want a certain number of milligrams, but you don't know how much that will translate into CC or milliliter wise, how much you need to put in your syringe, then for example, if I want 100 milligrams, milligrams of testosterone and I have a 125 milligram vial, then I would take 100 divided by 125 and that would equal 0.8 cc or milliliters. And that's how much I would put in the syringe. But my actual dosage would be the 100 milligrams. That is my dosage of testosterone. 0.8 is just how much liquid I'm putting in the syringe. Knowing how much your dosage is, is very useful in terms of keeping track of your own dosage over a long period of time. How much testosterone you're actually giving yourself, it'll be useful if you have to go to another doctor and they need to know what your dosage is. There's one more thing that I wanna to touch upon quickly in this video, and that is that your dosage does not automatically correlate to the effects that you will see on testosterone. Obviously, everyone has a different body Body, everyone has different chemistry in that body. The effects that someone gets on a certain dosage is not gonna be necessarily the same effects that you will get on that same dosage. But I also wanna point out that upping your dosage doesn't directly correlate into faster or more changes like a lot of people think it does, I feel like. And by that I mean that testosterone is an intermuscular injection. It is slow releasing. So for example, if I put a very low dosage of 25 milligrams into my system, it will release just as slowly or quickly, depending on how you look at it, as a much higher dosage of 100 milligrams would. But your body will consume or get through that 25 milligram dosage much sooner than the 100. So 
So this is just me randomly throwing out an example. So 25 milligrams, your body uses all of that maybe within two days. Versus if that same person had a 100 milligram injection, the body would take four times as long to work through that amount of testosterone compared to 25 milligrams. So even though your body would slowly release the same amount of testosterone regardless, that 25 milligram dosage is not gonna get you as far time-wise as that 100 milligrams is. Where things start building up and things will seem to progress quicker is if while your body is still working through that 100 milligram dosage, you then give yourself another dosage, then on top of wherever your T levels are before that injection, now it, that second injection is building on top of those T levels. So the more your dosage is and the shorter your frequency of dosage is, the more that that dosage stacks up and accumulates within your body and your T levels just go up and up and up and up. And I hope I am explaining this in a way that is understandable, intelligible. I am an English teacher, not a math teacher, not a biology teacher, blah, blah, blah. I am not good at explaining numbers. I am not good at understanding numbers. But at the end of the day, all you really need to know is how to read your dosage. Know what your dosage is and to know that the level of the dosage, whether it's considered a low dosage or a standard high, whatever, doesn't necessarily correlate to what effects you will see from tea. You will see the same effects regardless. Whatever is in your DNA, in your genes, you're going to get it. It's just a matter of how quickly, how slowly you're going to get it, depending on how you customize your dosage to suit your needs. And know that there is more involved in dosage than just the number that you calculate from your vial, from your syringe. Frequency of dosage is also a very important part of calculating, figuring out how much testosterone you want to be on, what you want your dosage to be. Anyways, I'm not a doctor. I am not a doctor. I am not a doctor. I just putting this information out there, take what you want from it. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you next time.